Uh, thank you for your time. Um, on May 24th, 2023, I believe I wrote every councillor and mayor within the Durham region to voice my concerns regarding the equity and diversity program being introduced into the Durham District School Board curriculum and the community as a whole. I expressed my opinions regarding the pornographic nature of textbooks, the danger of co-ed bathrooms, the promotion of gay curriculum in class, raising of special interest pride flags with the Canadian flag drag queen, and drag queen story time in our public libraries and restaurants. I also stated that I agree with Lisa Robinson on all of her proposals. I literally heard from one mayor, Sean Collier from Ajax. He appeared to relinquish any responsibility for what goes on in the schools at the Durham District School Board and their trustees and made no mention of the drag queen story time in our libraries. He did, however, mention the current diver diversity, equity, hate, and discrimination propaganda ad nauseum. This is a disgrace, councillors and mayors completely ignoring responsibilities to their community. I feel Lisa Robinson is a stellar example of a public official hearing her constituents' concerns and voicing them. There are many taxpayers who have had enough with this current narrative. She is genuinely concerned about the safety of our young children, not spreading division in the community. I am relieved that she has some decision-making power. I am encouraging all of her fellow councillors to hear concerns, to sit down and discuss, support her in this. Mothers, fathers, grandparents, patients on these matters is wearing thin. If you follow current events, the rallies and protests are getting larger, louder, and more frequent. Everyone's rights need to be res respected. I am here today in support of Councillor Robinson. What was her position on the Safety and Wellbeing Committee, as well as the important motions that she's brought forward in the short time she's been a member of Council? We need more councillors like her. I believe council should be ashamed of themselves for trying to silence Councillor Robinson. She is doing her job, speaking up and representing her constituents. In my opinion, your behaviour describes that of a bully. <clears throat> and it's unprofessional to say the least. Councillor Robinson is the only member on council who has earned this position on the Safety and Wellbeing Committee as she has been the only one on council who has shown to put the safety and well-being of her community above all else. Which of you are capable of taking her place? The amount of six to one votes would say you are not. I wish to see the rest of you stand with Councillor Robinson and put people first. It's unfortunate this council has the arrogance to pass reports and motions when your staff can't even answer Ms. Robinson's questions or have the data to back up your reports. Councillor Robinson based her many defeated six to one votes shows that she does not just go along with something because she's told to. There goes your four votes. Comments like the one Councillor Brenner made erode our trust in the democratic process and you as our elected officials. In my opinion, Councillor Robinson is thinking critically. It's evident that she puts the safety of her community as top priority. Even today, I would not be here as a delegation if it wasn't for her changing the policy so that I do not have to announce my address on an open forum that is recorded and view it, viewed by the public online. Another safety issue only brought forward by Con Councillor Robinson. I wonder how many people don't participate or speak up for fear of retribution. How many years have most of you been sitting up there on council? And it takes a newly elected official to bring forward these types of concerns. <clears throat> Mayor Ash, you speak of the need to help those with mental illness and how it is near and dear to your heart, and yet you all went against Councillor Robinson and passed a report with at least 20 or more unanswered questions by staff surrounding the homeless and mentally ill. Don't you think with that amount of unanswered questions raised by Councillor Robinson that maybe the report should not have passed until those were answered? Instead, it passed with a six to one vote. Ms. Councillor has made a video showing many six to one votes. 
Not one of you up there has shown to possess the neutrality or critical thinking skills that Ms. Robinson possesses. She is not afraid to ask tough questions or go against the grain. She does what's right even though she knows that her haters are waiting for a reason to attack her. It takes a strong woman to stand alone, but I will tell you, she is not alone. And she has a majority standing with her, supporting her and her efforts. Most counselors only care about where their next vote is coming from, caring more about themselves and rather than who they represent. Councillor Robinson even brought forward a motion in support of our veterans. It was one of the first things she did as a new counselor, trying to think of the ways to give support to our veterans and thanks for those who died for our, for our country. She brought a geoengineering motion forward so that the federal government would have to disclose a list of ingredients being sprayed into the air we breathe through Councillor Brenner, even though Councillor Brenner read through the Harvard studies regarding geoengineering and knows that they're spraying our skies, he said it wasn't important because it's for climate change. So he was okay with it. I, for one, am not okay with it. I personally want to know what kinds of safety risks or side effects these aerosols are having on us and what it's doing to the water we drink or the crops that we eat. Being an elected official is not about what you want or your feelings. It's about representing your constituents and what they want. You could all learn a thing or two from Councillor Robinson. You all owe her a public apology for the way you've mistreated and discharged her. Bullying tactics are not tolerated by this community. We have had enough. She seems to be the only counselor in Durham region brave enough to stand up for the children, the safety of the children to have a choice to feel safe in vulnerable spaces, public, private spaces. She is also the only one calling for a state of neutrality and challenging whether the city is following these policies surrounding flag raising and government facilities. Neutrality is not favoring one side or another. That is inclusivity. It includes everyone without bias. There are safety concerns surrounding drag events for children. I don't think it's unreasonable to ask for an 18 plus age restriction. Are you going to continue the very real safety concerns regarding this topic? I support Councillor Robinson's proposed motions, all of them. I would like to see some unity in this council and real communication on topics that are important to Durham Region residents. Tolerance, accepting, honoring, and promoting are four very different things. We are promoting affirming care to children in schools. We have drag queens in our libraries, and a lot of parents are very upset about it. If you continue to ignore it, you're gonna to continue to see division in our communities. Lastly, I would like to ask Councillor Brenner mentioned that these organizations sent letters in unsolicited. I have information that states otherwise, that you spent an entire weekend soliciting signatures from every organization in Pickering. And I will be getting a freedom of information request to verify that. I'm not taking any questions. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you for your presentation. Appreciate it. Uh, the order, please. Uh, our next uh, delegate is in regard.